Well, back to our top story and the focus is on Alice Springs as soaring uh, crime in the daytime and the nighttime uh, continues throughout this uh, town of more than 26,000 people. We've just had Peter Dutton on the program. He's calling on these alcohol bans to be reinstated immediately and says the Prime Minister should vi visit the town of Alice Springs. Joining me now is Senator uh, Jacinta Price and former Deputy Mayor of uh, Alice Springs. Thanks so much much for your time, Jacinta. What do you think needs to be done here? Well, look, I, exactly what um, Mr Dutton has called for. I've been asking the Prime Minister to visit Alice Springs, uh, in fact, before the election, before, before he became Prime Minister, but certainly uh, following the election. He's made several um, overseas trips to visit countries in need of support, but uh, Alice Springs has been described as a war zone, uh, and it has been so for some time now. Oh. And our, our police are under the pump. Um, they they can't seem to keep the get the pro the problem under control. Uh, we do need some sort of uh, federal support, whether that's now the AFP. Uh, and, and also, Mr Dutton is correct in calling for a, um, a royal commission into, um, you know, the sexual abuse of Indigenous children. Mm. You know, I've been saying for years that the, the domestic and family violence issue, the issue of children being sexually abused, um, it's just going to become absolutely chaotic. And this is what we're currently faced with. Uh, you, we didn't need a crystal ball to know that this... Uh, is what is going to happen and is continuing to happen. And it's it's really, it's it's horrifying and, and it's sad. It's sad that my hometown mm. um, is currently faced with this situation. So take us through what's happened over the last couple of months or indeed longer. I mean, we, the national media, is just focusing, it, focusing on it now. Uh, Anthony Albanese did a series of, of interviews this morning. He wasn't asked once about this, uh, but look, here we are. The spotlight's on, on Alice Springs. Um, inform our ignorance, if you, if you will, Jacinta. How long has this been going on and how did it get to this point? Look, I mean, this is going on for uh, a number of years now. Uh, we've got a situation where we've got a Territory Labor government who are soft on crime. Uh, you know, they, they're seeking to do things like also lift the age of criminal responsibility, which doesn't work in a situation where quite often, uh, you know, we have offenders as young as 11 who are sexually assaulting people and other younger children. Uh, you know, it, it's evident that the children on our streets that are causing uh, a lot of the crime, they're, they're learning these behaviours uh, from older kids, but now they're carrying them out as younger kids. And uh, you can't tell me that um, stealing a car, uh, ram raiding, joyriding, uh, wielding machetes, uh, that a child under the age of 14 or 13 doesn't understand that those behaviours are wrong. 